Hey mate, I'm Alex. And I'm Gaston. Welcome to Power Mates. Uh, this is a play to learn and share about Fabric and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. The main topic for today is the brand new Microsoft Fabric. Uh, Microsoft Fabric was a really huge announcement at uh, Microsoft Build. Uh, the whole announcement was around uh, bringing a whole data analytics framework for clients from spaces, from different organizations, where the great excitement is to build crazy data analytics framework from scratch using one single framework. That is Fabric. Okay, uh, what happened to Power BI? Okay, that is a really great question. Uh, Alex, I would love to share my screen and let's go over to my machine so I can tell you about Fabric. Okay, this is Fabric. As you can see, you can enter Fabric as it is using your Power BI URL dot app.powerbi.com or you can leverage this URL that is app.fabric.microsoft.com. So you can enter one single instance and in that instance, you are gonna see and leverage in different workloads in one single framework. That means that the Power BI user can access this framework and eventually you're gonna be seeing another roles and personas here. You're gonna see uh, a data factory icon where you can start thinking around ETL scenarios in just data to Fabric. There's another component that is the data activator that allow you, and this is brand new product across the Fabric family, is a framework that allow you to monitor in, get triggers, alert in automate process and actions in real time. There's another component that is the Synapse Data Engineer Stream where you can start landing uh, in one lake, creating lake house, Apache Spark, transform, prepare organizational data. There's another load of data scientist team where you can start creating machine learning modeling, experiment, create predictive analytics and all stuff. There's another load that you have across the Synapse Data Warehouse. If you're familiar with SQL Data Warehouse, you can secure and working with data at petabyte scales. And there's another load that is the Synapse Near Real Time Analytics, where you can ingest data, transform data in uh, near real time, creating KQL database and so on. So, nothing new in terms of Power BI users, they are still going to see this yellow icon in Fabric. Okay, so that's awesome. But if, exactly, what's going to happen with the Power BI current user? Awesome, awesome, awesome question. You know, let's do a little bit of recap. You know, back in the days when we were uh, talking with uh, Excel users that they were not jump into the Power BI world and they were kind of hesitating of, okay, what is this new Power BI tool? And they were kind of uh, trying to understand that they need to think around, okay, what is the structure for Power BI? And now what is happening is that the Power BI users, they're trying thinking around, okay, how I can catch up with all these new artifacts that comes to Fabric? Because at the end of the day, I need to catch up of, okay, how I can get the best of Power BI based on what I already know in terms of data models, data sets, data flows, uh, catching up on uh, create relationships, create measures, publish new reports and so on and create dashboards. But how I can start my path into this new fabric framework that is, you know, understanding all the loads that I'm, showing right now in this screen. So next step for our Power BI user is jumping into the learn process. And there's a lot of documentation across the Fabric experience. I am sharing this learn series here 
where you can jump right away into learn.microsoft.com and Fabric, and you can see everything that happened in the Fabric world. That means that there's a lot of training models, end-to-end -end analytic solutions in Fabric, get started with all these framework and uh, having that kind of path of, okay, what I need to understand and do if I am a Power BI user. Okay, great. But let's step one step back. If I am user that I am just working with Excel, how can I jump in to the fabric war or what's going to be my fabric path? That is a really great question, Alex. And you know, as every single step on the data analytics journey, you need to go one step at a time. Meaning that if you're an Excel user, you understand everything about cells, copy, paste, working on formulas, having dynamic pivot tables and all the stuff that happens in your Excel world, then you need to translate all that knowledge on running data analytics to your Power BI experience. So one step at a time, that means that in Fabric, you might think about, okay, what is my next step in my path? Go to the Power BI workload in Fabric. And then from there, you can start picking up on different workloads, meaning that you're gonna be switching to the data factory workload to understand what is an ETL process in the data analytics framework, and then going further on that line, understanding components like Lakehouse, Data Warehouse, KQL databases, and so on. So the path is gonna be a whole new world in the data platform space. Okay, and you, you already mentioned that, but I am seeing right now like four different icons for synapses, for different load for synapses. What happened with that? Exactly, and you know, that means that you have right now out of fabric four different workloads based on your role and your persona. You're gonna have the Synapse Data Engineer, the Synapse Data Scientist, the Synapse Data Warehouse, and the real-time analytics. Actually, you can enter all those artifacts directly from the icon that you have here. That means that every time you hit that icon, you're gonna see, okay, if I am a Power BI user, you can jump right away to this Power BI workload and you're gonna see all around workspace, reports, data sets, and so on. And you can, of course, create a new report from here. If you are in the data factory world, you're gonna see a couple of new icons here. That's gonna be the data flow icon and the data pipeline icon. Switching to the Synapse world, you're gonna see four different icons. So going to the data engineer icon, you can take a look at new artifacts that comes in place here. The lake house, the notebook, the spark shop definition, the data pipeline, and so on. Moving to the data warehouse, you're familiar with warehouses. You're gonna see another icons here, warehouse and data pipeline. And last but not least, in the real-time analytics, you're gonna see another icons, meaning that you can create KQL databases, query sets, and even streams. So there's a lot of loads, different roles, different personas, and based on that, different artifacts. Great. Okay, friends, mates, that's all for today. Keep in touch. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channels and our social medias. And one more thing, stay tuned because in our next episode, we are going to cover around the integration between Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric. Bye-bye.